All right, here's the basic ingredients. It's really so simple. You got two cups of Weisenberger, just white flour, and then some white wheat flour or some wheat flour. You're gonna need a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a cup and a half of warm water, two and three quarters teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna come back and get that working with just a pinch of sugar. About a teaspoon of salt in here. Let that work. All right, now my yeast and water has set for five minutes. I'm gonna take my three cups of assorted flours and I'm just gonna gently mix them up very quickly becomes nice and doughy. Now I'm gonna take this, and the most lengthy part of the process is the rising of the flour. I'm gonna cover this, I'm gonna take it inside where it's a little bit warmer. I'm gonna let it set for about four hours. All right, so our four hours has passed. Now we're gonna pull our dough out of here, and you're gonna see pretty quickly that we got some good looking dough right here. I'm not gonna do much to it, I'm just gonna Work it a little bit. Now here's the part where you're probably thinking, okay, I've never cooked in a Dutch oven. If you're a pro, you know the deal. You can almost eyeball your coals and know exactly how much you have to have for 300 degrees, 350 degrees. In this case, we need about 425 degrees. So how do you do that? Well, look here at this book. The handy little lodge book tells you right here, Dutch oven cooking. This is a 12 inch. If I want a 425 degree temperature, which I do for bread, this is gonna cook about 40 minutes. And you can do this with coals from wood. It makes it a lot easier if you start out with charcoal briquettes. To get a 425 degree temperature, we need 10 on the bottom, 21 on the top, which we've done. I've also taken some lard and put in the bottom of that pan. Now I'm gonna take my dough, and see how nice that looks? I'm gonna put it back in the bowl and I'm gonna let it rise for another half hour. While we have that last half hour of dough to rise, that's when we get our pan preheated and ready to go. All right, the half hour has passed. We're gonna do one more little roll around here. We're gonna take our bread, get it in a nice little round shape, and we're gonna pop it directly in the pan. Here's our future bread. And we are good to go. Now keep an eye on your briquettes. If you see them burning down, you can replace them. And give that a bit. Now we'll go see what Nikki's doing in the kitchen. Is wonderful, wonderful good. Dutch oven bread. You, can't, you cannot hardly go wrong with it. Now, here's what I always like to do as soon as it comes out while it's still smoking hot. Now look at that. Mm. Wow, that's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter on top of that and let that soak in so it kind of make it moist. And look at that. Now, wow. I've been working on this all day. You know what, I'm gonna switch hats real quick because I don't want to bang you with this. Look at here. Wow. How much bread did you make? I've been making bread all day long. <laughs> you know, once you get started and you start messing around with it, this is a different type of bread. It's got a little more wheat in it. Oh, I can't hardly wait. Do we have to wait for soup? We can have a little taste. Just a bite just to, to hold this over. over. Yeah, I need a little bite. Let's have a little bite here. All right, we said we we're gonna have a little bit while our pumpkins are boiling, but you know what? Let's split this in half, put some butter on that. Is that for you, not for me? Mmm. Mmm. And look how, look how nice that is. That looks nice. Well, you can make some, oh, some fresh cheese with that. All right, let's set the breads out of the way before we eat them all. The pumpkin's going, and obviously we have a, something sweet coming up. Yes, let's move this out of the way. 